Get your Zombie Chronicle posters today. More information in the link in the description down below. Now on to the video. Hello and welcome to my Let's Explore series. It's back. Oh, buddy. We are back with our Let's Explore series. And today we are going to be exploring Shangri-La. The one we all want to know about in the mountains in the universe. And if you're unfamiliar with this, this is the series in which I try and explore the maps to see all the immersion and details Treyarch puts into their maps. And then kind of talk to you about what they do, the little tricks they have. Walk you through some of the Easter eggs and stuff like that, if I can even do that on this solo version of it. But more so, if you want to explore the maps, this is your chance to see more of them, even if you don't have a PC to do it, or you can't buy the game for PC. That's why I do these. So without further ado, let's go to the mountains! Mountains, mountains, mountains. Okay. Uh, here are the Shangri-La Mountains. Here they are. What about this? Screams. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, that was just a weird red texture there. But here are the Shang Mountains. These little bastards have driven us crazy for a millennia here. And I have a bazillion videos about that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I could actually step on these but it doesn't look like there's anything special to these as well so we'll check them again on eclipse mode but actually if you even look at these it looks like there is some like growth and vegetation on it unlike the previous version that looked very much like a space rock well this is shaded mm, a lot of smoke here why, why are we hiding this and all the smoke what are you trying to hide from us treyarch uh, so there's the background itself, though. Take a look at the sky. Still very much have that stormy. You have this beautiful two-toned sky. You have, like, the storm coming with the sun rays peeking through the clouds here. And you have this just godforsaking storm going on. I wonder if they're going to play off Zetsubo no Shima being anywhere close to this area. I doubt it, but it does seem to be like a similar skybox of sorts. So in post, I went and checked. It's about to see my skybox. Nope, not even close. It actually resembles more of Mob of the Dead with all the cranes and scaffoldings in the skybox. Really, really odd. And also that red texture shows up a bunch as well. So nothing new there, but that's probably not the case. Um, I don't think there's really much to these mountains, to be honest with you. And there's night mode, by the way. So they did the same thing they did previously where they flip it. So if you're unfamiliar with the... Dur Eisendrock, you can check out that. Let's explore. The whole playlist will be linked if you want to see all the maps, except Buried Mob of the Dead. I still need to do those. But they, they flip it. So when it's nighttime, we'll flip the, the two sides here. Okay, interesting. Let us see. I'm actually curious. Can I go below the map and will I see the moon? Is that actually hidden in here as well? No, I'm not seeing it underneath the map, but I'm pretty far underneath the map. Up we go. Because technically it's right here. I'm actually curious, can I just try and... Is it out here and just hidden behind something? I don't think so. Jesus, where's the hole? Oh, God, it's beautiful. Whoa, look at this. I was just going up here to try and see if I could try and find the space rock without initiating eclipse mode. But clearly, eclipse mode spawns the rock in. But, oh, but look at the stars. Well, that actually looks a lot like space. Actually, a lot, a lot like space. Look at that. Are those the shooting stars? That is pitch black compared to... Because when we flip it, that's what we see. That becomes that skybox, and this skybox goes to the bottom. Whoa, that definitely looks like the stars. Not so much... Hmm, fascinating. Interesting. I don't know. There's nothing too crazy about that. A lot of jungle still. Still no Mars confirmation. Thank the Lord. Look at that. That's the mountain range right there. Why'd they make it so large? Are we in a valley? Is that the valley for the loading screen that we get pooped out of? Are we, like, getting sucked in, and then on the loading screen, we're actually coming out of it, and that's why the temple and all that stuff goes there? It's weird. It's definitely weird the way it, it looks and feels. I thought it'd be cool to show you guys the difference between the mountains and the structure of the maps completely right now. Look at the distinct difference. And again, this is still zoomed in. It takes way longer on Black Ops 1 for me to get above the map. So that's why it seems like it's bigger, but it's not. Zombie Chronicles has a much, much bigger mountain range. And they also removed the flora that was in the original Shangri-La mountain range to the left of it and now it's this very rocky structure. It's gigantic. They expanded the range and it 
almost curves around the map. I mean, you can tell by the difference, like you can't even make out the temple where I am on the Black Ops Zombie Chronicles Shangri-La versus the Black Ops 1 Shangri-La. You can still kind of see the temple and all that stuff. So that's why it needs to be zoomed out more. But I thought that'd be cool for you guys to see, like there was literally no textures to the mountains or anything, but you can see that distinct gravel rock canyon like look but it was also next to these flora that was like all right well maybe they're still in the himalayas and they're just one thing's displaced while in zombie chronicles the whole mountain range looks displaced or shangri-la is completely displaced in the mountain range just a really weird contrast on this map now we have done a shangri-la in the past but zombie chronicles shangri-la is different there's more textures it seems way cleaner the red here is bothering me. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> when I see that, to me, it screams like, there could be more Easter eggs. There's not. There's not. What is that? Why do we get that texture? But when I get close, it's different. Just probably because it's loading and deloading stuff. Uh, let's see. Can I walk here? That's always something we'd like to check as well. Nope. We cannot. But, interesting enough, we can take a look at the temples that are around the maps. So... We should, I should probably try and get a comparison. Maybe, hey, I'll do that. I'll try and show you guys how the temples look comparatively from what they were to what they are now. And even the temples outside the map have such better detail. Actually, they even got, look at that, little statues out here as well. That's fantastic for world building. I wonder if we could find that statue somewhere to try and figure out where Shangri-La is. Because I feel like that's a very identifiable, identifiable statue. Eh, just, just my two cents there. It's just weird to see them add all those type of effects. We've seen these even show up in Moon and stuff like that too, to this point. But we we have just such a beautiful atmosphere. Like look at look at the rays of light. You can see that now. Yeah, that this is a good example. You can actually see the rays of light cutting through the plant life and fauna around here. And it's just so gorgeous what they were able to do with this. I know this was in the previous maps, but we didn't really have bright maps in Black Ops 3. In Zombie Chronicle maps, you really get a good sense of the way the lighting works on this. Like, just look at that ambient lighting, how it cuts through, plus the smoke and everything. It just gives you such a better atmosphere you couldn't get on the original. I mean, nowhere's close, to be honest with you. That looks like a lot of destroyed brick and nonsense. Okay. What we got going in here? How's this temple looking? Any different? I know I had a commenter saying, like, what if we could, like, there's an Easter egg for kicking, using the shrink ray to kick these guys outside the map, like, into the temple here. And that would be pretty neat, to be honest with you. I'd be a big fan of trying to figure that out. Look, look at this thing. We'll go check out the, the focusing stone in just a bit. Don't worry about that. And I'll try and see if I can do a solo Easter egg. There's mods that used to allow me to do that, but I don't know if there is on PC right now. Now we're thinking about it. Let's just... Let's go see what's going on. Is it here? Can I... Let's see what they did with this. Especially if I can walk in here. Can I... Am I going to land on it? Ooh. Interesting. Okay. I'm in here. Ooh. I know, by the way, they it used to be only if power was off when a monkey would steal a power-up drop. He would then have that, like, rocket launching feature. Well, that came back up. We even asked Jason about that, and he's like, ah, don't worry about it. And then they, they made sure to keep it in the game, which is fascinating. This, the area does look nice, though. It looks fresh, flushed out a bit, even though it's pretty bland in certain areas. But this is what I talk about. Like, Treyarch knows how to use assets just right and budget, as Jason was talking a bunch about their assets properly. Oh, the boxes are still there. No! Oh, that bothers me. But budget their assets properly so that from the map, when you look in, it looks... It looks like it's a full jungle. It looks like, you know, behind the curtain, it looks like this gorgeous, there's this whole jungle in front of you and even more ancient ruins, but we're just stuck in this one area, so we can't possibly know. I, I They have quite, <laughs> I think, the anti-cheat protection here to try and get us to not be able to walk up and take the focusing stone to start. Look at that. Woof! Woof! That is different. They, they're really they're really good about pushing that. Can I? I doubt it. Oh, no, see, it, you got to have the triggers. So even if you could glitch in here, try, make sure you have to do all the steps before you can just take the stone. But what is fascinating is they, they have changed some stuff up here. Let's see. Is Richtofen's name still on here? Well, that's very good. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. We have Richtofen on there. And 
It's a little different. A little different, the symbols, but similar. But here's the biggest change. We have no gorilla skull on here anymore or the alien looking skull. That's completely removed. Instead, we have some very interesting script. I don't know. I don't think it's Tibetan, but it definitely reminds me a lot of Uncharted 2 in this I, whole area, especially the statue from way over there earlier that I pointed out. It really reminds me a lot of Uncharted. So, by the way, here's a stone. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's even got the 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 design. So, like, the origins, when you would go underneath, it has that design on it as well. It's on the NPD. They really like, so it's like a chunk of, once again, that that Apothecon Keeper design we keep seeing over and over. That's, that's fascinating to me. And even so, it's reflecting. Is that reflecting the fire behind it? Probably, right? There's not, like, some Apothecon reflection. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it looks so neato. Something I forgot about earlier. There's teleporter boxes in Shangri-La and whatever this wall is. And I don't know if that correlates with the snare trap by any means, but I, I don't think so. But this was in the previous one as well. So I don't know if there's supposed to be teleportation originally in these maps, but there's something strange here. I don't know if it deals with the four focusing stone spawns or if there's more that was supposed to be in these maps but why does this reappear again all these years later why keep them in if they never had a feature or does it represent a feature we don't understand in the code so it's very possible that these actually are collecting something during the easter egg hunt or something like that i don't know but if you guys do know what this is let me know i'd love to know in the comments down below i said no how many times in that little section there? I'm just very curious, and I don't have any explanation for it. Let's continue. How does Pack-a-Punch look? It looks exactly like Pack-a-Punch does. Hasn't really evolved much since we've seen it in Doris. Very interesting. Uh, let's avoid the zombies while we can. Continue to look at the stuff outside the map, because that's normally the most interesting stuff, is the things that they put outside the map to try and get us to be all immersed in the environment. Am I crouching? Oh, I am crouching. Oh, fantastic. It's amazing I can stand on some of these places as well. Because it's so cool, like Jason's even said, that he's made entire villages and all of Mob of the Dead, but they always have to cut it as time goes on. And it would be so cool to see, like, a giant pyramid map just like this. I've always had a vision of Atlantis, very similar to these type of bricks everywhere under the sea, and, like, everything's, like, water level would be, like, right there. There'd be water around all these type of brick buildings and... You'd be able to travel through tube systems and all this type of stuff. I'm, I'm a big, big fan of all that. What the heck is down there, though? I'm, I'm, I'm running for it. Is this just a continuation? Because Jason also talked about how they don't waste stuff under the map anymore. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful. Oh, the water looks great down here now. Wow, that looks so much better. <laughs> wow, than what it did in the old one. The old version really was this pitiful little stream here. This is pretty impressive, what they got going down here. Look at that. When you get out of, like, the color correction they have on the map, it's interesting to see if they've, they've tried to hide anything. I like the moss rock that they've littered throughout the map. Very, very good choice to, to really liven up the flora on these maps. A lot of extra textures. Hey, we're on top of the waterfall now. Look at it. it just, mm, it flows. Shang is such a pretty map. There's just so much to it. That algae water. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the switch is still visible. That, that doesn't seem to be it. I think it only shows up, yeah, during the Easter egg, the switch itself. So, again, I'm going to try and trigger the Easter egg, but no pro promises. I don't know if anybody's modded it yet where you can do Shang solo. I'll have to check out the mod shop after we explore this in its entirety. All these areas, like, when I used to do this, too, the whole point was to be, like, when people would ask, like, Oh, is this, is this a secret area? No, it typically doesn't lead to anything but it's also interesting to see the pathing of zombies they've left so many ways for zombies to go from barrier to barrier so if you're running away the zombies don't have to despawn respawn they can just go to the next barrier and try and get ahead of you Treyarch did that in previous games and then even in black ops 3 they got really good at respawning zombies ahead of you really 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 good at that oh cool i like the little power generator touch here might have been the old game but those, those things fascinate me. Just to see how they've done a really good job of making everything make a little more sense. Is the lander still here? Yeah, see, there is still a crashed lander here. They kept that. That always baffled people. Like, why is there lander parts in this area? 
and again, you start going like you're thinking too much about it, and it's too much, too many details. But that's kind of the love of this game. Sometimes it totally matters, and other times it doesn't. Sometimes it's completely wrong. You're going in the wrong direction, but that's kind of the the super sleuthing, the detective analysis atmosphere you got to have for all this stuff. Really, really interesting. Shovels and all that stuff. Nothing too crazy going on. And when Brock and Gary are talking, there is no actual Brock and Gary. It's completely your imagination. There's no secret boxes under the map where they're actually coming and going and dying and whatnot. That always fascinates me too, how this was so deep. But again, it's just for your immersion to watch it. It's not like an elevator shaft that you actually go in and fight Takio or anything like that. I am fascinated by the change to the blue 115 rocks. Definitely seems like it's telling a different story here that we got all these blue rocks versus the red ones that were everywhere. And apparently Jimmy still stays in touch with some of the guys at Treyarch and their writing staff, so... Oh, look at that. That is totally the focusing stone. Why can't I just snag that? That is totally the focusing stone texture just put somewhere else in the map. It, it looks exactly the same size, too. Pretty darn close. If you like that kind of stuff. This could be boring and dry, as always, and... I apologize if, if it is. If, if you're not a big fan of the Let's Explore series, you can always check out the next one. There will, there will be another video on regular programming. Look at this! All these could totally pass as focusing stones. Nonsense. I like the experimentation and the mining of all the rocks and all that stuff. Oh, here we go. They actually put zombie faces. And back in the day, uh, it was not zombie faces. It was something completely different. I think it was the Nova Crawler faces, and then we had a, like have all kinds of debate about that, but it's interesting that they have like zombie capsule pods inside these maps. And this is something you wouldn't even get to see because it's way the hell out of the map. They removed like the pig and all that from the original game. It was right through here, yeah. And then you would go to the right here. And there used to be like, oh no, he's right here. Here's the boar. Oh, look at that. And the body bags. Oh, that's good. Anybody in the body bags? Nope, I didn't think so. Oh good, they didn't remove that. Someone told me they removed it. Now that they're all there. Yeah, there's the boars and all that stuff, and all the bodies they're hiding in the back of the map. Little things that you might not notice, especially if you didn't play the old versions of it. Yeah, they kind of rounded that out pretty well. But, yeah, do you have these pigs and these bodies? And that's what was so alluring about the previous zombies, because you'd go through these maps and be like, Whoa! Well, look at all those bodies outside the map! What happened? What's actually going on in these maps? What story took place? There's other, other subtle stories going on besides the one that we're talking about. It was almost magical to try and figure out what happened to these areas before we got there. And that was a lot of the storyline. Now, not so much. We're kind of focusing on different things, but the charm of some of the old maps was always trying to figure out what, what went down at these facilities. What went horribly wrong? And there was so much mystery, and honestly, no one had it very well planned out. We have Derise and Drox soldier right here in Group 935, when originally we never saw any Group 935 soldiers on these maps. We only saw the characters that were here as an MG42. So at some point, Richtofen brought people here from Group 935 to mine the facility, but then they were overtaken by the zombies or murdered in some other way. There's a lot of questions to be asked here, especially about what's going on with our characters and why they don't turn into zombies and why certain other people don't turn into zombies despite having exposure to 115. I, I am interested how he's decanonized iOS, Dead Ops Arcade, and Zombies in Campaign. Very, very fascinating that that stuff doesn't impact our story as much anymore. That's a neat looking door. It's got, that kind of looks like a gateway from Origins, doesn't it? Like when it would crack open and then you would be able to go through it. That'd be a funny easter egg into one of those teleporter boxes to somewhere in the map just to call out to the crazy place. That would be very cool. Very cool. You, because look, look at how many there are. There's, there's no way. You could never hit any of those inside the map or anything like that. That is definitely just texture loading. Hopefully I'm not getting anybody's Jimmy's rustled and getting them too excited that there's a super easter egg on Chang. The focusing stones themselves aren't actually hidden in the ceiling anywhere. Like... They spawn in like normal, like every Easter egg. They don't have the assets until they actually need them. Especially on the older maps, sometimes they did that. They kept them preloaded in the map, but these not so much anymore. They make sure everything's pretty lock and key. Oh, neato. There's a Denizen sign. This was first, and I'm pretty sure there's another one of those signs down here. Am I, am I mistaken? I swear there's another sign like that down here, no? Where it had the, the skull and crossbones and telling you, like, danger. Maybe Rita's forgotten, but that is interesting to see that show up again. Because that's good old transit coming back. 
I, I don't think it's a transit sign, except what the hell is that? What the hell is that? That's weird. Those look like... Just, it just looks out of place is all to me, those... It's really red, like the steel beams in transit as well. But it also almost looks like a pagoda. A broken pagoda. Is that even what you call it? I'll try and get an image on screen for what I'm... What I'm seeing there. It was like in that the castle custom World at War map. There's tons of these everywhere. That's actually what it more looks like. Or even die rise. If you saw some of these in the Buddha room. That's a weird texture in a weird place. Oh, and there's a skull here. What's going on in the Mud Temple room? I don't recall any of that being there. Well, guess what, Reed? It totally was. In post, I went back and checked the maps, and it was all there. Been there since the original Shangri-La, so uh, it's just a detail I did not pick up. Go figure. What I am going to show you, too, is comparisons of the night mode. So when we go into Eclipse, you can see the original Black Ops 1 Shangri-La Focusing Stone here. And then I'm going to contrast it with our brand new Zombie Chronicle Shangri-La Focusing Stone. It's interesting that dynamic we have and I was also showing the moon in space that we don't see anymore in the background but with our zombie chronicles one because it's so different again with the colors and how one and five impacts the game and all that stuff it's all interesting to see what Treyarch's trying to send us message why narratively and if it's just more enjoyable there it is too with the smoke we were talking about how awesome it looks like fireflies and all that but then if you look at it like a little too long it starts to look like like Wario took a fart <laughs> and you're like oh no you're ruining the coolness of it all but I was finding that on PlayStation, I'm actually getting better graphics than I was on PC, but I also turned my PC settings down, so it's my own fault. So in this gameplay, when I was no clipping, if you're like, it doesn't look that good, it's probably because my settings were turned down because I stream so much, and I typically don't have the settings up just to get the highest frame rate for you guys. So let's look at the moon. Remember this, this is Black Ops 1 moon. Again, you can see the in the way, way background, there's a giant space rock that we can't explain. We don't know what's going on there. But here, it's a flat texture. It's just the moon with Griffin Station on it from Doris, And then we see all throughout the Black Ops 1 saga. And then we're going to contrast that with the 3D texture that they actually put inside Zombie Chronicles. Look at that. Look at that shot. Remember, iconic. Everyone's like, oh, that's so amazing. Can't get better. What in the crap is that? They actually made a 3D model of it, which is really surprising to me that they imported that into the game. They must have so much extra space that it really doesn't mean so much to them to be able to put that in there. Because Shangri-La is a tiny map in comparison to what they've been doing. And as you can see, it's completely flushed out texture. Everything about it is right there. So I hope you did enjoy this Let's Explore series. If you did, subscribe for more. I'll be doing all the Zombie Chronicle maps. I will go back to do Mob of the Dead and Buried at some point, And I'll even do custom PC no clipping as well. I hope you enjoyed the comparisons and all the video editing for that. I might be streaming later tonight. I haven't decided yet. And for all the Patreon guys, Horizon Zero Dawn should be up in the next couple days, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm continuing to record it. Got tons of parts done. I'm having a blast. I can't thank you enough for all the Patreon supporters. Our first open lobby I think is next weekend. Check the Patreon for all the updates and posts. What I want to leave you with is inside theater mode. I found this really interesting revelations like dynamic to these mountains where in revelations, you know how the light passes over the map constantly when you start speeding it up and you can actually take notice of how the clouds shift in the sky focus. The shadows here give this such an interesting effect to the mountain range and it's quite beautiful to be honest with you, but it also makes me wonder like what's truly going on when you see all, are those the clouds, are, are the rocks, the stars? Obviously, it looks like the clouds, but just interesting to see that dynamic. I hope you did enjoy this video, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.